let's talk about the album to start off with, Donovan. Uh, how come you got back together with Vicky? Well, we just uh, met up again. I went round to dinner and said, uh, let's make a record. It was as simple as that, right? Really? Yeah. Mm, mm. Did you enjoy the partnership again? Yeah, we had a good time, Mickey and I, on mm. this record. I think it shows we developed lots of new things and we found a new stream of eagerness and activity in the music and it was good fun. Mm. How long has the album been in the making? Well, it looked like the album wasn't going to take any length of time, really. But it ended up doing about nine months, maybe ten months. Mm. Some interesting people involved too. Chris Bedding, I believe, did the string arrangement. Yeah, Chris Bedding was a great help and a great find. Mm. Because the, one of the problems was getting some musicians together after being away for a while. Mm. And uh, the musicians we got together were just right. It was a great mix. Who have you used, in fact, on the album? Well, Chris Bedding, who plays guitar and wrote all the arrangements. Mm. With nods and grunts from Mickey and I, where the <laughs> strings should go up and down. But Chris was the one who put it down and got it together. And uh, Cozy Powell is throughout except one track. And that one track is Music Makers, where uh, the drums are played by Alan White, but most of the other tracks, well, all the other tracks that have drums, Cozy played. Mm. And Cozy was great, and uh, it just fitted fantastic. Mm. Uh, on one track, perhaps two, I think just one, uh, there was uh, Dennis, uh, who's in Cozy's band at the moment. He mm. played bass on the one track. That's the Beast. Mm. about to be formed, or is formed, mm. about to surface. And uh, Philip Chen played bass on a couple. Mm. Uh, but then another great help was Rabbit, John Bundick. Right. Yeah. Rabbit. Yeah. I think that's his real name, John, John Bundick. But Rabbit is really f good fun. It mm. reminds me of Sean Phillips, who I used to play with the Texans. Right, yeah. Well, Rabbit is long and lanky and easygoing and, and plays great country piano. Mm. And he played a lot of uh, keyboard. Or nearly all the keyboard. Mm. So it was good fun. It was a good team of people. Yeah. How many songs did you have for the album when you actually came to do it? Have you been writing a great deal lately? Well, I had all the numbers that I wrote uh, from the last time I made records till now, plus some fresh ones. But it was good what Mickey said. Let's work for very fresh ones, the very the newest ones you can get. Mm. Let's not hang, uh, do any oldies. Uh, that means just uh, maybe six months old or three months old. But there was a bunch of songs. There always is a bunch of songs around. Because mm, it's been a long time since you recorded, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a few years. Yeah, and in fact, it's years. been quite a long time since we've actually got to see you, because I saw the In Concert program you did mm, for BBC Two. Right. What are plans in terms of concerts for the future? Are you, w well, I'd, we I, want to, I want to tour everywhere. Everywhere that I ever toured, I want to tour. Maybe not uh, s so vigorously in so many cities at once. Mm. But uh, time over the years has got uh, to be a little longer for me and I'm appreciating how to stretch time mm -hmm. and spread things out. So uh, perhaps I'll be touring everywhere in the end. Mm -hmm. Was it intentional, your, your ease off in that sense? Well, it's been many uh, dramas and adventures and uh, ups and downs and topsy-turvies. And I suppose uh, I ran the whole business to a standstill. I stopped the whole machine mm. uh, by withdrawing in various ways. But never wanting to withdraw, really. I just wanted to adjust it because uh, I began so early, at 18 or 19, and uh, it just formed in the last two years what it was all about. So now that I've got the pieces together in a way perhaps that I can control, that's, where, that's why I want to come back now, make records, tour, and do everything mm -hmm. at a leisurely pace yeah. and enjoy it. Yeah. It would be wrong to say the album's more positive than things you've done before, but in, musically it's, it's more direct, perhaps more electric. I don't, know what the, I don't know what it sounds like. I really don't, because it's... Uh, are we going to make an album maybe in April or May or make another album sometime? Mm. And it'll be completely different. The chemistry of the moment and the songs and the, the way I felt, it came out this way, in Cosmic Wheels. Yeah, you didn't have a vision in your mind of... of, there, of was a, there was a very vague uh, theme, and that theme was... I suppose in the time that I withdrew from working every day, every week, mm. uh, till now, I've had the time to look around and feel a few things and work a few things out. So one of the themes was trying to make music that created the reality of being on the earth 
which is what we're on the earth at this moment and it's so perfectly balanced this movement in space and the earth is moving that you don't feel any shudders and there was something in that to try and make some music uh, we sort of developed it on cosmic wheels and made a few other tracks mm -hmm. like it in a way uh, and I dropped a lot of the songs that were making it definitely a cosmic theme mm -hmm. but uh, it was something to do with the earth spinning hence the artwork all spheres mm -hmm. and uh, it's a strange reality yeah. being, a, being on the earth really being on the earth spinning away through the space there mm -hmm. so it was something to do with that Donovan it, really it's a beautiful album thank Thanks you very, very much, much for coming in thanks to see for you. having That's us on <coughs>